we've been through periods of time. The last thing that we went through was what we call, or they call, or different ones called, what we are actually accustomed to is the awakening. Waking up and seeing things. Seeing things revealed. Seeing things not the way we've seen them before. Things has been, has been completely different. Now, what's happening right now, right this moment in time, we're in the middle of a pandemic. We're in the middle of a coronavirus. COVID-19, they call it. COVID-19, which was started back in 2019. Where did it come from? <clears throat> Nobody really knows. <clears throat> I mean, first it was animals, right? Bats, snakes, whatever. But you know, that has kind of disappeared. Nobody cares where it come from. That stopped. It's just happening. And everything's happening very fast. This pandemic started in one country. Now it's almost worldwide. I don't think the spiritual aspect of President Trump being elected has quit. Because now we're in a world war spiritually. It is a spiritual world war. With a pandemic. It's like President Trump said... An invisible enemy. Before the pandemic, there was a lot of talk about child trafficking, human trafficking. There was posts put on Facebook, people warning other people, people almost being taken. Guys, this stuff is not just there now. It's been happening. It's been happening for many years, many years. But within that awakening, it's finally coming out. We all know that children have been kidnapped. We all know there are pedophiles out and about. We all know it. But you know what? We chose not to see it. But now that our eyes is awake and we're wide awake, it's directly in front of us. And that's cause people is coming out. People are telling the truth and people want their stories heard. So where does that put us now? All along, we've been fighting evil. We've been accustomed to good and evil. We know it exists. Even as a baby, growing up, we know it exists. You have good people, you have bad people. It's showed in movies, in stories, in Bible stories. Good and evil. Good versus evil. God is good. Lucifer is evil. That's what we grew up with. That's what we were taught. Sure, there's people with different opinions, different beliefs, different religions. They call God something else. They believe in something else. But you know, it doesn't matter. It's still the aspect of good and evil. A belief system is still a spiritual realm. Either way you look at it, it's spiritual. And right now, this just is not the coronavirus. This is just not some virus that was just like into existence. It's not what this is about. It's a spiritual war. Between good and evil. And you know what? Good and evil resides in all of us. So what do we know? We know there has been a lot of death. There's been more talked about death. However, the flu within the United States kills above 60,000 people a year. Now we have this virus, this very 
apocalyptic virus that all of a sudden comes into existence. And that's all the whole world's talking about. That's where everybody's attention is. In panic. Fear. That's where everybody's at. I mean, in warfare, if you cause a diversion, then the others can attack, right? Nobody's paying attention to the left when everybody's looking to the right. What do you think maybe the coronavirus could be? COVID-19. It could be a diversion. For what? Is it a diversion for good or for evil? Time will tell, right? I mean, everybody's worrying about toilet paper and breaking out into fights in the middle of a grocery store. Two women jumping on top of one woman and beating her up with a buggy full of toilet paper just because she wanted one pack. One pack of toilet paper. Think about it, guys. Think about how loopy the world has went in days. And you know what the scary part is? We've got all this going on, and there's still people walking around asleep. Out in La La Land somewhere, and have not a clue why they're even here on Earth. That's what's scary. The Kafishtis. It's not the coronavirus, guys. It's the Kafishtis. Bottom line, what do I feel? I feel it's going to get worse before it can get better. I believe everybody needs to be prepared. Not worry as much about toilet paper, but worry about what they're going to eat and how they're going to take care of their families when it goes completely south and all hits the fan and everything is shut down. That's what I think. I believe that we are in a purge, a reset, and I do believe it's going to happen, and it's going to be worldwide. It's not just going to be the United States, and I believe that instead of just worrying about toilet paper, it would probably be a smart idea to make sure that everybody's got enough provisions for a good 10 days, 2 weeks. Three weeks would even be better. Enough food. Enough water. Because the next thing. When everything goes completely south. There won't be no internet. There won't be no social media. There probably won't be no TV. It'll probably be an emergency broadcast channel. For so long. There's going to be some type of medical martial law. It's going to be something. And I believe it won't be too long. Because although that my beliefs might be a bit different than what I was taught or was shoved down my throat, I know Easter is coming. And you remember what happened on Easter, right? Do you remember why we celebrate Easter? I don't believe that that true day God would let be polluted in darkness. So, I believe, in theory, a good idea 
would be to make sure that your family is set and you can hunker down for a good 10 days to 2 weeks without blinking an eye and find something that you can do inside your home and just ride it out. Because guys, in the beginning, there was darkness before there was light. Just a theory, guys. Just a theory. What do you think? It's a theory, guys. Not a conspiracy. A theory. Guys. This has been Becca. And I'll see you tomorrow. If you're new to my channel... Hit the subscribe button before you can't. And ding that bell. And if the social media does go out and we don't have no communication, I'll be back. I'll be back. And if you ding that bell, you'll know I'm back. Give me a thumbs up too while you're there. This has been Becca, and you've been watching The French Fried Trees. See ya.